this way and, and bend it and move it around. Hi everyone, I have uh, this thing long 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 time ago I learned how to um, make plier, my, my pliers into useful tools. Like uh, make them really really fine uh, tip where I can hold it almost like a tweezer and then bend the prongs and open loops and that kind of thing. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Hopefully this is going to be useful for you guys. So these are the pliers. I'm going to ask Luis to come and take the close up. These are two different pliers. One is banded, one is straight. And if you guys notice the, the, the tip, it's very, very small, right? Look at that, very fine tips. So what you can do with this, basically, you can, you can hold this tiny, tiny prong and then move it around like that. Also, also this one, you can hold it this way and, and bend it and move it around. These are made these pliers are made for this kind of thing. Let me show this. Also, as a loop, you know, you can you can hold it like that. And then you can hold really fine and open it up. See how easy you can do this with this kind of really fine tip like that. So I have this one plier here, which is like not like that. I'm going to show you guys how I made this kind of plier so you guys can make one for yourself. So I have this grinder. I put three uh, thin grinders together where I created a full thick grinder. I'm going to grind the plier with that. So I'm going to put it on my handpiece like that. I'm going to take this plier and and I want to mark it like I want to make this like really really sharp tip like that all right so I'm going to demonstrate for you guys how I grind this This, this happened kind of like I did it in purpose because I could feel this thing wobbling because this is too big for the width of this uh, metal here and when something's wobbling and if it goes fast pretty much it uh, buckles and uh, but to fix it you're gonna go pretty much Let's make sure this thing is spinning. That's perfect. Alright, there we go. That's how you fix that. Alright, so let's continue on this plier, which is like almost, almost, uh, it's pointing out 
but the point is pretty thick. I would like it to be uh, a lot thinner, especially the front. I like this to be a little bit uh, thinner, the front part of it, but it's pretty good pointy. I like that. Depending what you're making, this might be pretty good for you, but my uh, achievement here is to have really fine, long tip. So I'm going to continue grinding it. As you can see right now, the tip is much longer. I can dig into a lot of spaces, but when you look at it this way, it's a little bit thick. I'm gonna try to grind it down so it's not as thick as how it is right now. Let's do that. Okay, so if you guys see it clearly, this is like really thin, uh, nice. This is what I was trying to uh, do and I think this is pretty good. So if you guys want this tip to be longer, um, any shape, you can actually do it. But this is what I want because this is like very useful. So right now with this tip, I could go in here and then push this prong out like that and then push it out you know I can remove the stone or, or push it back in like that and push it back in very cool so as you guys see this is how I did it this works very very good with little tiny loops and tiny prongs to open, close, bend it, shape it. You can make a bunch of these um, pliers where you know you can have a tip looking like that, bend, tip, and then you can have straight, all kinds of tips. Don't be afraid of grinding your pliers, making them useful. Um, so, uh, for a master jeweler, you need to create your own tools. Every time when I'm uh, faced with some kind of uh, adversities, different shape, different uh, design, I end up making a tool for it. So, I am never afraid of uh, creating new uh, tips, new shapes on my plier. I don't use them like I bought them. I always play with, around with them and make all kinds of things. But this is very cool uh, plier and I hope this is like something you guys going to find so much value in it because I do. I, this is very valuable for me. I use them all the time. And um, yeah, if you guys want to know any other things, uh, any other tools to make, please uh, leave a comment down below. I will uh, be gladly uh, talking to you guys over there. And um, here we go one more tool for you guys to have a new arsenal of tools and thank you for watching please uh, leave a comment down below share the video and hit the like button and i would appreciate that thank you